Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and in today's video, I wanna talk about this new feature that's rolling out on Wix Studio called the Visual Sitemap, and you can see it here. They kind of have a little video that goes through and shows you the sitemap, and it's a way to have AI help you generate not just the sitemap, but also some wireframes so that you can do your projects faster. So I wanna show you how this works today because I have it available in my Wix Studio account now. Um, and if you want to see the other updates that they just uh, announced and released at the last Open Studio, I'll put a link to this web page where you can find all the different things like the accessibility wizard, the functions builder, some other things they talked about. So right here in my Wix Studio dashboard, the way that you access this new tool, this new feature is you click create new site and you're going to use this studio sitemap site map and wireframes. So if you don't see this, then you don't have it yet. And like it said on the Open Studio page, it's rolling out. So it might take some time for it to show up in your own Wix Studio account. But you'll click this button here and it will start firing up the uh, wireframes. So the way that it works is it's an AI tool. And this is uh, common in the web design industry. There are other AI tools that generate sitemaps and wireframes, like Ray Loom is one of them. There's others as well. Um, so this is a common way to use AI in the web design industry. And so you just put in your information here, like what business type, describe the business, and then some other details, and then you can go ahead and do it. So I'm just gonna make something up here. I'm gonna say the business type is a marketing agency and then there's some different drop downs that will come up here and then I'm going to describe the business so I'm just gonna say a uh, web design focused marketing agency based out of Utah Utah US United States we focus on creating stunning websites with Wix Studio. So you can put in here whatever you want for your business or a business, maybe it's for a client of yours for their business. And then you can choose the site's main service and then you can always add others later. I'm just gonna say our main thing is we want to showcase our portfolio. And then what's the name of the business? I'm just gonna do it after my company. KDC Marketing, where's the business located? I already answered this, but Utah, USA. Who's the target audience? I'm just gonna say uh, health and wellness professionals. And what makes our business unique? Um, we focus on simplicity, innovation, and results okay so something like that what are the main goals of the site uh, to showcase our portfolio of web design projects and to um, and highlight our web design services now you can be more specific than I am or less specific but I'm just gonna start with this and then you can choose the tone of voice you can pick up to two of these so I'm just gonna say uh, let's go with professional and informative those are the two that I want and then I click continue so here's where you get a pick if you want the sitemap and wireframes um, or if you want the sitemap only I'm a big fan of wireframes I think that they speed up things they can speed up the production a lot and I actually do this process outside of Wix Studio typically and um, I might move it over to Wix Studio depending on how this uh, tool goes and, and how I feel about it but I always create a sitemap and a wireframe uh, for the different clients that I work with and so I really like wireframes so I'm just going to click this one here I'm going to click start generating and this is going to, going to load so we will see what it looks like once it's done loading. And just to kind of uh, add some more details to that, what I was saying, I usually create my sitemaps in Figma and my wireframes in Figma, my visual design in Figma. 
Um, but this is a, an interesting addition to the Wix Studio uh, tools that I didn't think was going to come at this point. Um, but it is it is nice because if you want to speed up the way you build the websites, if you can wireframe inside of Wix Studio and sitemap inside of Wix Studio and kind of do the whole process, then that's the thinking behind why they added this tool is to help uh, agency owners, freelancers create the websites faster. So here's the, uh, if you click on the visual sitemap here, so it actually has its own icon once you uh, enable this tool for Wix Studio and that's how you would find the visual sitemap. So what this is, is it's just showing you all the pages here, the home page about, about us, experiences, resources, the privacy policy, um, contact us, and then the portfolio pages. So you can, these are the different sections. You can click and drag these around. So if you want our services on About Us, or if you want it on the home page, or if you don't like the order, if you want the client testimonials lower or higher, you know, you can move this stuff around. Um, and you can do a couple of things with each page so you can kind of reorder them you can duplicate them you can set them as home pages so it's just kind of a drag and drop system right where you can drag things around um, and you could even add a new page like let's say I wanted uh, I don't see uh, our services page but I, I actually want that so I'm gonna um, have AI generate a our services and I just want to say um, our two services are custom web design and website maintenance. And I always have a hard time spelling maintenance, maintenance. Okay, there we go. Yes, and I want, and see, I didn't even spell it right even after that. That's okay it'll know what I mean. So I'm just going to click generate here and it's going to generate the wireframes and the content because I have this selected and pretty soon you'll see an our services page show up here once this is done. And then in a second there it is right there. Custom web design you can see website maintenance and added what our clients say and get started today. So a, a testimonial section and a call to action. Okay, so uh, let's go in and edit the site now. So you just click that little button and look at these wireframes here. And this is what it looks like. So you have a hero section, you have um, our services here, our portfolio. You could add a form to this. They leave it kind of blank for you to edit the form, but the form's already there. Um, these should be optimized for all the different devices already. So it should look pretty close to uh, what you want on mobile and tablet and desktop and then I can scroll through the different pages so I can look at that our services page it just created for us and take a look so it's got a little slider here what we offer why choose us our approach kinda like that that's kinda nice um, web design services client testimonials so this can just really speed up your production um, and you can obviously go in and change these sections if you look at your layers panel and say hey I don't really like the way this get started today sections built you can customize it it's not meant to be a thing where it's one and done it's meant to give you uh, a lot of the work up front so that you can speed up your production process and then you can go in and customize it from there and that's why I like that it's wireframe because wireframe is so much easier to edit than a visual design in my opinion so different pages you know you can scroll through these and see and then it has these portfolio pages so it added one of the apps to run this and then you could you know click into the app and it would say manage collections here so it added the app for us automatically and we could go in and manage our portfolio so a pretty cool tool um, I think this is a great addition to the uh, Wix Studio, uh, the existing tools they had, and you know, as part of Open Studio, they also talked about this accessibility uh, accessibility wizard, which was really interesting. Um, so I, I think this just really helps speed up the process, and um, having the sitemap and wireframes is 
a natural progression to the development. You always, or typically you'll see that happen where you have at least a site map and some wireframes before you get into design. So you can download this if you want. You can export this up here in the top right corner. You just go here and you just click ex export sitemap. And it's basically what you see is what you get. So when you open this screenshot here, let me pull it over onto this screen. This is kind of what you get. You can zoom in to it, just a JPEG of the sitemap. But if you want to send this over to a client and say, hey, here's the sitemap that I'm thinking, you know, the different sections that we'll need, and the different pages, um, then then it will will show up here. If you add other uh, pages and apps, like it has portfolio here, um, these would be all grouped together. So if this was bookings or some other type, they'd be grouped together, so they can kind of see the functionality pieces that are that are there. Um, so, and then of course you can hide these uh, if you want to. Uh, so, so yeah, really cool tool. Um, and then going in and editing these wireframes, you already have a big head start on your website. And um, I mean, it's interesting. They, they even used a text text mask here. So um, that's a bit of a more advanced feature. And so you can go in and customize that. So it just kind of gets uh, the ideas going and a really, really great tool. Something I'm looking forward to um, using more often, or at least testing it more often to see if I can fit it into my business to see if it makes sense. Um, but just wanted to highlight that. I feel like that was probably that and the accessibility wizard here um, were probably the biggest announcements. But they did make some updates to the menu, which I'm excited to share more about because that's always been a bit of a pain in Wix Studio. Um, and this functions builder is interesting too. I haven't had a chance to test anything with it yet. Uh, but some pretty interesting updates from this last round uh, of the Open Studio. So I'll link to this. In the description uh, but just wanted to show you uh, this new tool in particular so i hope you found this video helpful and i will see you in the next video